reproductive phase of life in human. Now let us learn about the reproductive phase in humans. On the onset of puberty, both the male and female become capable of reproduction. In males, the testes begin to produce the male gametes called sperms and in females, the ovaries begin to produce eggs. In males, the reproductive phase lasts for a much longer time than in females. Generally, in females, the reproductive phase begins at puberty, that is around 10 to 12 years and lasts till the age of 45 to 50 years. Maturation of ova begin at the onset of puberty and one matured ovum is released by one of the ovaries once in every 28 to 30 days. Both the ovaries release the ovum alternatively in every 28 to 30 days. During this period, the wall of the uterus becomes thick so as to receive the fertilized egg which is formed as a result of the fusion of male and female gametes. If fertilization occurs, the fertilized egg begins to develop resulting in pregnancy. If fertilization does not occur, the released egg and the thickening lining of the uterus along with its blood vessels are shed off. This causes bleeding in women and it is known as menstruation. In every 28 to 30 days, menstruation occurs. The first menstrual flow begins at puberty and is termed menarche. The menstruation cycle stops at the age of 45 to 50 years and it is termed as menopause. Menstrual cycle includes the maturation of the egg in the ovaries, its release into the fallopian tubes, thickening of uterine wall and its breakdown if pregnancy does not occur. In case fertilization occurs, the fertilized egg which is called a zygote begins to divide and then gets embedded in the uterus for further development. Menstrual cycle is controlled by the hormones. Now let us know how the sex of a baby or an infant is determined. We all know that all the cells possess nucleus and nucleus contains chromosomes and DNA. All human beings have 23 pairs of chromosomes in the nuclei of their cells. Out of these 23 pairs of chromosomes, two chromosomes are the sex chromosomes, namely X and Y. A female cell has two X chromosomes, while a male cell has one X and one Y chromosome. Generally, the gametes have only one set of chromosomes. The unfertilized egg always has one X chromosome and the sperms are of two kinds, one with the X chromosome and the other with the Y chromosome. So, the sex of the baby depends on the type of the sperm that fertilizes the egg. If the sperm with the X chromosome fertilizes the egg, it results in the formation of a zygote with two X chromosomes which develop into a female child. If a sperm with a Y chromosome fertilizes the egg, it results in the formation of a zygote with one X chromosome and one Y chromosome which develop into a male child. So we can conclude that the sex chromosomes of the father determine the sex of an unborn baby. In our country, the legal age for marriage is 18 years for girls and 21 years for boys. This is because teenage mothers are not prepared mentally or physically for motherhood. Early marriage and motherhood cause health problems in the mother and the child.